Yo, what up guys? B Smith Dave Vlogs here and I'm back with another video. Today's video is just gonna be about the Bible verse of the day on the Bible app. It's something about Colossians and it's the verse that says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves to repent of their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. I just want to go over that verse with you. And I think it means a lot, especially right now. It was definitely a great verse to go over. But before we start, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I just pray that in Jesus' name, that your will be done for this video. In any spiritual battle with me or the person behind the screen watching this video, you have a victory, Lord. Help us to focus on your word, not get distracted. You grow in your word through you only, Lord Jesus. I pray that the people who do watch my video, they don't take my word for it. They take straight from the Bible's word for it and your word for it. And I teach your word biblically, Lord. Because at the end of the day, you're the almighty judge. You're the great God. And your word will never change. And you know what is right and what is best for us. And we follow that and we receive that in Jesus' name. And I pray for backsliders to come back to you. And non-believers come back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, y'all. So, right here. Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. I've already noted on this a while back but I'm going to note on it again. I'm basically going to say if you want to take notes with me or not or you make your own notes I'm going to say if we call on Jesus you know the simple kind of overview what the verse means if we call on Jesus Repent, pray, he will heal. Repent and pray, he will heal our land and bring revival. He will heal our land and bring revival. You know, I believe that, I know for a fact that Jesus is going to bring revival to America and probably to the world, you know. And I know what God told me about California bring seeing revival like never before in California and small southern towns working together. And it's already happening, the revival in California is already happening and the big revival's coming. I know what God told me and I know to what God told me, okay, it's coming. I believe that I received that in Jesus' name, it's already began. And we just have to be willing to receive that. And walk in it in Jesus' name. I don't want to miss a revival. I don't want anybody in the body of Christ to miss a revival. Position yourself. Let God position you how you should be positioned. You know, God's going to use you in some ways that He's going to use other people in different ways. All right. That's how it's going to work. And if we pray and humble ourselves to repent of our wicked ways, He will heal our land, and He will hear from heaven and heal our land. But we have to receive that in Jesus' name. You know what I mean? I believe He's going to heal America's land again. I believe, I know one more great revival is coming to heal our land. Spiritually, He's going to heal our land at least. I'm not saying economically, physically, and stuff like that. I know spiritually, He's going to heal our land. Also, not everyone's going to get saved. But revival's coming. And it's going to happen. We just have to believe it and receive it. In Jesus name I can tell you for me that starts with me I got repent in my wicked ways I got porn I struggle with porn I struggle with lust I got to repent in my ways all of God's people got to repent in their ways it's about God's people it's see how she said if my people who are called by my name right that's not talked about if the people who are atheists or the people who are Muslim or the people who are Mormon said no if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and repent of their wicked ways I will hear from heaven and heal their land that's what the Bible's talking about so God's people the Christian people that's what he's talking about we as a Christian I don't as Christians I don't care what denomination you are Baptist Pentecostal Nazarene Methodist whatever it is Baptist we have to humble ourselves and pray and 
return for our wicked ways, and he will hear from heaven and heal our land. You know what I mean? That is what it's about. And we got to come together as a body of Christ, as my people. If you're a Pentecostal and you're saved, you're part of my people. If you're a Baptist and you're saved, you're part of my people. That makes sense. You're part of his people. We're all one in the body of Christ. Galatians says this, we are, we are all one in Christ. We are Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, woman nor male. But we are all one in Christ Jesus. So what that is playing, all races, all denominations are all one. And I know what God told me, all denominations will work together during this revival. Those who walk in the spirit will receive it. And those who repent of the wicked rage will receive it. I'm not saying that when you walk in this revival, you'll be preaching a million, but you'll bring a revival to your family, revival to your your little small town. You'll bring revival in some type of way. But you have to let the Lord position you. All glory to Him. He's going to use you for His glory, not our glory, you know. It's a great book that I've been reading my pastor showed me back in the city. And I think it's so great. It's called The Explicit Gospel, right? And it's just an overview, I'm going to tell you about it, that I've read so far. And it just, one chapter is saying the gospel is not about you. It's all about Jesus. And I think as a Christian, I, even as Christians, we don't like to hear that, that. But in all reality, you know, the gospel is not about us. It's about Jesus. It's not about what we do. It's about what he did. So we have to study ourselves to be assured. You know what I mean? I don't want to get my shirt on dirty. We have to study ourselves to be assured. You know what I mean? That is what it's all about. And as Christians, are we going to do that? Are we going to pray? Are we going to allow the Lord to heal our land spiritually? You know what I mean? Are we going to receive what God has for you? Or are you going to walk in the flesh and walk in your culture and not walk in the kingdom? You know, you know what I mean? Follow the Lord and you will see. The Lord has grown just so much during the COVID-19, you know, pandemic. You know, I'm calling it a pandemic. Showed up with you. And um, he called me a lot in his word. Is there still times where I read the word and I get distracted and I still don't quite understand? Yes. But I'm spiritually growing and I'm growing the knowledge. He's already answered my prayers. He told me when I went to Mississippi, I will put you in a, well, he told me this, right? He said, I'll put you in a good body. I'll put you around a good body of Christ. I'll put you in a good place. But I'll surround you with people who know Jesus. I'll surround you with a good body. And he put me at a church called St. Anne's Baptist, and I'm telling you, he literally told me what he was going to do, and he did. He put me around a good body that would grow me. So he literally did what he said he was going to do. So God is great. You just have to listen to the Lord, you know, and follow him, and you will see. He's always told me consistently, follow me, and you will see. And I receive that. And I do believe your life is coming to you across the nation. You just have to receive it. And believe it. Revival in the government, revival in the nation, revival in the state, revival across the world. Me and the girl I talked to, Julia. We had a real thing about Europe. Europe seeing revival. So it's going to be great too. I know what God put on my heart. God leading me to a lot of places and leading me to a lot of things. And I know I pray about this. I know what God told me about revival. And I know what God told me about the vaccine. The vaccine, not the mark of the beast, but he said not to take it. And then he told me about how they're going to distribute the vaccine to the military and do the LGBT activists. I know what God told me. You can choose to believe it or not. But the point of the video is, if my people, like if my people can humble themselves, and repent of their wicked ways. I will hear from him and heal their land. That is God's people. If you're saved, you're God's people. My people will humble themselves and pray. I will repent of their wicked ways and hear from heaven and heal their land. That starts with me. That starts with the person watching the video. If you're saved, any Christian that starts with us, we gotta be the change. And what if I support Donald Trump? I know God put him there. He can't make a change. Only Jesus to make a change and trust in God's people, right? Trust in the Lord. I know Trump didn't win and him in office is going to help Christians. But it starts with us. No mere man or woman can save this nation. Only Jesus can and God's people through Jesus will, right? Jesus is the focal point. That's what we got to focus on, right? Hope you guys receive the word and what the Lord wanted me to show you. But have a great day in Jesus' name. He loves you.